so many snook just stacked up right here. There we go. Got one. That is not a bad snook. Oh, there we go. Did it. What's going on everyone? So I am kind of filming this intro midday and honestly I had no idea where the morning was gonna go. I got a live well full of uh, good baits pretty quickly, some pilchards and some thread fins. And I've just been bouncing around and I finally got on a good pattern here fishing some docks in these residential canals on these uh, cooler days when the fish really like to stack up in here. So I'm gonna show you starting with that and we're gonna see where today goes because like I said it's midday I don't know how this is gonna end yet got a live oil both some pilchards and thread fins gonna start with this guy that's a pilchard right here gonna be using my pen battle 2 4000 with 20 pound braid on here on my St. Croix Mojo in short 7.6 medium power rod and I got a size 1.0 live bait hook right here with a section of 30 pound fluorocarbon leader, about three foot section of that. And we're just using these little pilchards and thread fins and we're gonna cast around these docks with a little bit tight drag. We do not want to get beasted into these filings. So I'm gonna have this pretty much locked down right there. We're gonna get it over there, see if we can get any redfish or snook. Got it. Got a snook right here. There we go. It came out from under that boat. Come on. Come on. There we go. Not a bad one. He shot out from under that boat for my bait. Loosen my drag now that he's out. He was just chilling under that boat. That was not a bad snook. Switch my little bit lighter setup to have accurate cast. First cast in there. He ate it. Same leader, same hook, same everything with that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't get me back over there. Come on. This is a fun size fish on this setup. Just had the drag locked down when he first ate. Then loosened up on him when he came out. Yeah, it's a good one. Hook around the corner of the mouth. Got him. Yeah, that's a healthy snook right there. Came out from underneath that boat. And there, that is a 28 inch snook. Right at slot. There we go, first fish of the day. 28 inch snook. And it was honestly right as I switched to the other setup. I put a little bit lighter setup on, just get a little more accurate cast. Got this bait right up under this boat and he came out and hammered it. But let's see if we can get any bigger ones. Let's get a release on this one right here. Whenever you're ready, buddy. It's gonna let him suck on my thumb. It's kinda letting them recharge. And once he kicks off on his own, that's when he's had enough and he's ready to go. Oh, there he goes. See you, dude. Beautiful. Let's see how much you prayed me up. Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna retie right quick. All I'm tying is a loop knot. And if you don't know how to tie a loop knot, I talked about it in a video I did a while back where I talked about like my top five knots. So I'll have that listed in the description or have a little pop up at the top corner if you wanna check that out.
All right, I've always had pretty good luck at this dock. Let's see if we can get this bait over there. There we go. There's so many snook just stacked up right here, like out in the middle. Oh, there's one on him right now. He's just following him. Just following him. Didn't eat. There we go. Got one. How good is this one? Pretty good. Another high 20s probably. He's out here in the middle. I just randomly found like a school snook out here. Should throw some more live chummers out. They're all stacked up in here because of the colder temperatures we've had recently. Come back into these little canals around these docks and everything with the warmer water. Another good one. I think a little bit smaller than the first one, so probably not slot. Come on over here. Right on the, the edge of the mouth. Hey, hey. He's still got some tight in him. There we go. Hook just popped out, but yeah, that's another probably 26, 27 inch snook right there. Right there, 26 and a half. Beautiful fish. Get a quick release on them and see if we can get on some more of these fish that are over here. See you, dude. There were some big fish in that school of snook that I saw. Oh, there we go. I was just reeling it back. I'm gonna eat it right there. I think this might be a red. For some reason I think this is a red. It's kind of fighting like a red. It is a red. There we go. Just out in the middle of nowhere, a decent red picked it up. That's awesome. Now I just need my, well I gotta get them in. Probably shouldn't talk, but I was like, now I just need my trout. Yeah, it's a decent red. 19, 20 inches. Come on over here. He's got some cool spots on him. Oh yeah, he's got a bunch of spots on him. I was just reeling it back. I didn't nose hook, so I was just slowly reeling it. He came up right on the surface and ate it. I could see it was a darker fish. And the way it was fighting, I was like, this might be a red. Come on over here. Decent redfish, and he's got these cool spots on his body. He's got two spots on this side. That's a big one back there. It's almost three. Man, three on his body and the big one on the back. Measurement on him. This is a 21-inch redfish. Beautiful fish. Let's get the release on him. See, you, dude. All right, so I've gotten a couple snook now, and then just got that redfish but I'm gonna try this for a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go out and see if I can get good trout and see if we can get like a pretty decent slam out of today all right I haven't got anything over here by the docks in a little bit no snooker red so let's go get this trout for the slam see if we can get a big one all right so I just set up on this grass flat to see if we can get some speckled trout to finish out this inshore slam. My goal is to try and get one on a greenback to keep it with the theme of today 
and also to get one over 20 inches. I think that would be my biggest slam of this entire year if I can make that happen. So I'm just gonna nose hook them. Same size 1.0 live bait hook. I'm using a popping cork now as you can see. And I'm actually trying something different where I put a little section of leader above the top of the popping cork. And that's supposed to help from it tangling up on itself on the braid. So let's see if that changes anything. Let's get a big one. There have been some big trout around here lately. I came here the other day just throwing a top water for fun and got a couple at 20 inches. And honestly, it's one of these things where you saw me earlier how I was up in like residential canals fishing docks trying to find warmer water for the snook and reds trout really do like this colder temperature and the, like a, the water temperature now is i think at 70 degrees so it's dropping pretty good from the like 85 or what was about two weeks ago if you've never tried fishing with a popping cork you really should give it a shot especially in these winter months if you're around here in the tampa bay area because speckled trout love the sound of a popping cork and you could check out a recent video that I did if you've never really uh, done a popping cork where I talked about how to rig it and how I like to fish it to catch speckled trout specifically. I'll have a link to that video listed down in the description if you want to check that out. New spot. Back at the spot where I did my little popping cork video with all the trout. So let's see if there's any here still. Hopefully we can get a big one. Nose hooking them right there. Nope. Bring them up to the front. Cast them out on this grass flat with a bunch of pot holes. Let's see if there's any trout here. The water is a lot clearer here, so I'm gonna see if that has any anything to do with the amount of trout because there just wasn't anything at the other spot. I'm already under. Got him. That feels like a trout. Yep, that's a trout. First cast over here. And it doesn't seem like a bad one either. Not a bad trout. Come on over here. Not quite the 20 incher I'm looking for. But if I get him in the boat, he'll complete my slam. Oh, didn't even get to touch him. I don't count that yet. See you, dude. There we go. Doesn't feel like a bad trout. Oh my God, there's like a 24 underneath my trout right now. There was a huge one that was just right here. Little 14 inch trout. There was one much bigger than this under him. Ah, see you, dude. Got him. No, it doesn't feel bad. Big trout, big trout. Okay, hold on. This is a trout I've been after all day. This is a good one right here. I don't know if he's gonna quite make 20, but he's at least 18, 19. I'm gonna go get a measurement on him. This is an exactly 20 inch trout right here beautiful fish and the great way to end the day i uh, if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure this is my biggest inshore slam of the year so what a good day let's get a release on this guy see you, dude.